Hello, 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 and welcome to... Combo Breakdown! Today we're taking another viewer suggested combo card. Tyam, Luminous Enigma. A 3-3 legendary nightmare beast for one, a white, black, and green that says, Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional vigilance counter on it. And, pay three and remove three counters from among creatures you control to mill three cards, then return a permanent with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, to combo off with time, you require counters of any type and mana. Luckily, time can provide counters to creatures entering, so if you can create multiple creatures at once, you can fulfill the counter requirement. In most of these combos, you also need a sack outlet, and Ashnod's Altar is probably the best sack outlet with time. So let's go to the battlefield to explain a basic time combo. Let's say on the battlefield you have time, Ashnod's Altar, and Weapon Craft Enthusiast, a 0-1 creature that has Fabricate 2. So when it enters, you either get to put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, or make 2 1-1 one -one servo tokens. Let's say you made tokens, and all three of those creatures have a Vigilance counter on them thanks to Tyam. So you can pay 3 mana and remove the 3 Vigilance counters to activate Tyam. But in response to this ability, sack your Weapon Craft Enthusiast to Ashnod's Altar to make 2 mana. Now, let Time's ability resolve, milling 3 cards and returning the Enthusiast from your graveyard to the battlefield. When it enters, you get to make 2 more tokens and all 3 creatures get Vigilance counters. Now you can sack one of your older tokens for 2 more mana, so you have 4 mana total. And this allows you to repeat the process. This gives you endless tokens, endless colorless mana, endless death and ETB triggers, and mills your whole deck. However, this won't win you the game, but it can help you find your kill pieces, like Blood Artist, that will ping an opponent for 1 damage every time you sack a creature. Just keep in mind that this combo will never give you a surplus of counters, so if the Blood Artist isn't out already when you combo off, you'll need to get more counters on your creatures by bringing back cards like Absent Ascendancy, so you'll be able to activate time again to keep looping the Enthusiast. Caller of the Claw can do this loop as well, but requires a bit more setup. The Caller is a 2-2 elf that says when Caller the Claw enters the battlefield, you create a 2-2 green bear token for each non-token creature put into your graveyard from the battlefield this turn. The setup requires you to have another random creature and at least 3 counters among your creatures on the battlefield. Pay 3 mana to activate Tyam, removing the 3 counters, and in response, sack the Caller and the other creature to the altar for 4 mana. Return the Caller to the battlefield with Tyam's ability, and since 2 non-token creatures die, so far this turn, you also get two bear tokens. All three creatures enter with vigilance counters. Now use three of that four mana to repeat the process, except this time, when the caller enters, you get three bear tokens. So an extra bear token with a vigilance counter. This means you can get exponentially more bears and counters the more you loop the combo. So eventually you can bring back your kill piece once you mill it, and then sack all your bears to kill your opponents. But we can also return enchantments, like Promise of Bunray that says when a creature you control dies, you can sack this enchantment and create 4 one, one spirit tokens. So if you have a random creature, sack it to your altar to make 2 mana, and then sack Promise of Bunray, making 4 spirits and they all enter with vigilance counters thanks to Tyam. You can sack 1 spirit to make 2 more mana, and then pay 3 of your 4 mana to activate Tyam, removing the 3 vigilance counters from your spirits, and returning Promise of Bunray to the battlefield. Sack a spirit for 2 mana to sack the enchantment, to make 4 more spirits, and repeat the process. This will give you unlimited spirits with counters on them and unlimited mana, so you don't need another card to keep the loop going once you find your kill piece. Here's another one with Deadly Grub, a 3-1 insect for 2 and a black that has Vanishing 3, which means when the last time counter is removed, you need to sack it. But when Deadly Grub dies, if it had no time counters on it, you create a 6-1 insect token with Shroud. Unfortunately though, you can't sack the Grub to the altar to make mana. So we'll need another card that either makes a token when the Grub enters or dies. Cards like Genesis Chamber and Blessed Sanctuary create a token whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, or you can use Absent Ascendancy, which creates a 1-1 spirit token whenever a non-token creature dies. 
Either way, when the grub comes in, it enters with four counters, three of them being time counters plus the vigilance counter. You pay three and remove the three time counters from deadly grub and it dies because the last time counter was removed. You get the 6-1 insect token with a vigilance counter and you get a 1-1 spirit token with a vigilance counter because of absent ascendancy. Return the grub with the time ability to keep looping. You just sack your insect and your spirit token to the altar to make 4 mana and then use 3 of that 4 mana and remove 3 time counters from deadly grub to repeat the process. This will make you endless mana so just keep looping till you find your kill pieces. And of course, it would not be a combo breakdown without a persist combo. So yes, Tyam and Astronaut's Altar also go infinite with two persist and or undying creatures. Have two of these creatures out like Kitchen Finks and Giraffe's Messenger and sack both to the altar for four mana. Now, the persist and undying both trigger. Since neither of them had a neg one neg one counter or a plus one plus one counter on them respectfully, they return to the battlefield with their respective counters. The Finks with a neg one neg one counter and the messenger with a plus one plus one counter and a vigilance counter each because of Tyam. Now you have four mana and four counters, so activate Tyam, removing three counters, including the plus one plus one and the neg one neg one counters, then return whatever you want from your graveyard. Now you can sack your two persistent and dying creatures for more mana, and then they return with four counters, and you can repeat the process. But not all Tyam combos require Ashnod's Altar. Devoted Druid can combo off with Tyam with the help of any card that can buff the Druid's toughness by 2, like Blossoming Defense. The Druid is a 0-2 that can tap for green mana, but you can put a neg one neg one counter on the Druid to untap it. Blossoming Defense gives the Druid plus 2 plus 2 and Hexproof until end of turn. Which means we can tap the druid and untap her three times, making three green mana and giving her three neg one neg one counters, making her zero one. But now you can activate Tyam with that three green mana and removing those three neg one neg one counters from the druid, allowing you to repeat the process and bring back every low costed permanent in your deck. To see more devoted druid combos that would fit great in a Tyam deck, I'll leave the link to my devoted druid combo breakdown at the end of this video. But finally, Cathar's Crusade is also a great card with Tyam. It puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control. Pair this with Priest of Gix and a sack outlet that is also a creature like Vasia Seer, and you get a loop. Play Priest of Gix, and when he enters, you get three black mana. And because he entered, he gets a Vigilance counter. And then all your creatures get a plus one plus one counter thanks to Cathar's Crusade. You can then use a three black mana to activate Tyam and remove both counters off Priest of Gix and another plus one plus one counter off another creature. In response to the ability, sack the Priest. Now return the Priest with Time's ability, making three more black mana, and giving all creatures a plus one plus one counter. This loop will give you endless plus one plus one counters on your creatures, but not endless mana. And there you have it, a lot of jank combos with Tyam. For more great combos that can fit into a Tyam deck, click on the Devoted Druid combo video on your screen now. Anyways, Tyam has big combo potential, and I probably just scratched the surface of it. So do you know any more combos with Tyam? Let me know in the comments down below. And when you need another combo, come back here to Combo Breakdown.